Uh, good evening, everyone. It is still Monday, August 7th, 2017, and I just have a few thoughts to add to the last video. I will uh, put these together in a playlist for everyone, uh, but this will be very short. I realized after I made the video that um, I had left out an important part of um, you know how to give people strength uh, so I'm doing it I'm just adding it this way uh, so if people can uh, turn again to Matthew 5 and um, I had read 11 uh, verse 11 but I'll, I'll read 11 and 12 now uh, blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and to say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice, and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. So, yes, we can expect this, but, but we also know that we have a reward in heaven when we are faithful and obedient to the commandments of Jesus Christ, which were to love to that everything uh, that we did and everything that we said was for his, for love of him, for the Father, uh, love for Jesus Christ, and love for our fellow humanity. It's not easy to, to love people when they're harming you, and yet that's exactly the thing that separates Christianity uh, from other religions because other religions don't love their enemies and do good to those who, who use them and persecute them. This is something that is unique to Christianity. And while some other religions might tell you uh, that they're very compassionate, when you really look, what you'll see is that they're pretty self-centered, actually. The compassion is more about inner peace than, than about loving someone who's harming you. And, and this is the path of forgiveness. And we do it because we had such a great debt that we could never pay. And Jesus Christ paid it for us, and he loved us while we were yet sinners. So it is the least we can do to not call other people out on their debts to us. Um, and then if we turn uh, to uh, Galatians 9, uh, Galatians 6, 9 and 10. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap, if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them that are of the household of faith. So this means that that even when our brethren are behaving badly, and even if they have fallen fallen for uh, false doctrines and they're also behaving badly, that we still should uh, take every opportunity to speak to them in love. Um, even when reproving them, to make sure uh, that our heart is the heart of Jesus Christ, that that Holy Spirit is actually in our vessel, and that that is what pours forth. So finally, uh, let's turn to 1 Peter uh, 4, 12 and 13. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery tri trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. 
and then verse 13. But rejoice, inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory may be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. So I hope that um, that um, strengthens you and, and that if we can remember uh, not only that our reward is in heaven, but remember who it is that we're following and uh, try as much as possible to become more and more like him every single day. Thank you. Good night.